Hello, welcome to our unique learning system math lesson. My name is Charlotte Lucas. I am an autism low incidence mentor teacher with Richmond Public Schools, and I'm so happy to be able to work with you today. Our math lesson today is, geom is a geometry lesson titled Describing Geometrical Figures. First, we'll do some vocabulary related to the topic. We'll learn how to describe two dimensional and, and three dimensional shapes, and then we'll practice identifying the shapes. We've got a lot to do, so let's get started. All right, this is some vocabulary related to the topic. We're going to be talking about uh, flat shapes, and we're going to be talking about solid shapes. And we're going to be talking about the parts of the shapes. So, for this shape, which is a flat shape, and you know a flat shape, a flat shape, you, it, you, can, you can hide it in your hand. It is flat. You, when you look around it, all you see is a flat surface. All right? So for the flat shape, the side of the flat shape, is one of the line segments. A line segment has a point here, a point here, and that line in between is called the line segment, and we are calling this a side. So when you put those line segments together, you make a shape. This is called a side. Another part of the flat shape, the two-dimensional shape, is an angle. If you look at the area, that goes from here and here. The part in the middle makes an angle. The line that goes here and here, that part in the middle, it makes an angle. The shape made when two or more sides or edges meet. So when this side and this side meet, when this side and this side meet, that's an angle. Parallel sides, those are sides that are always the same distance apart. So for here, it's this side and this side. If you look at our diagram, this line segment and this line segment, they are parallel sides. They are always the same distance apart and will never touch, even if they are longer. The vertex, now let's talk about the three-dimensional shape or our solid shape, okay? A point where two or more sides or edges meet. So that point where those sides meet, that is a vertex. If you look at our diagram, these three sides came together and that point right there, that's the vertex. <clears throat> a face. A flat or curved side of a solid shape. So here we have a solid shape, and that flat side of it is the face. And the edge, here's an edge. If you look at our diagram, this is an edge, a line segment where two faces meet. So here we have an edge because two faces met. On the flat shape, <clears throat> there's not two faces. There is only a side, the side, the edge, the vertex, the angle. All right, let's go to our next descriptions. Now we're going to be working with describing the shapes. We have flat shapes. We're gonna describe them, a circle has one curved side, all curves, all curves, no angles, all curves, no angles. A square has four equal sides, one, two, three, four equal sides, two sets of parallel sides. Remember, they're the same distance apart. This is one set, a set is two, like you have a set of hands, a set of feet, and a set of ears, and a set of eyes. Two, a set is two. So here you have two sets of parallel, one, parallel lines. This is one set across from each other, and then top to bottom, that's another set. 
and four right angles. One, two, three, four, okay? Look at the rectangle. Let's describe a rectangle. A rectangle also has four sides. One, two, three, four. Four sets of equal, two sets of equal sides and two sets of parallel and four right angles also. One, two, three, four. Let's look at a triangle. A triangle has three sides. One, two, three, no parallel sides. If these sides are parallel, these sides are not parallel because these sides touch. Remember, parallel sides do not touch. Then you have, this is a triangle, but then you have a right triangle. Look at this. A right triangle has three sides, one, two, three. No parallel sides, of course, because all of these sides touch. And then one right angle. Look at your right angle. You know an angle is a right angle if it has that square in it. Okay, and two acute angles. Acute means small. This is a small angle and this is a small angle. Less than 90 degrees. And then you have a rhombus. A rhombus is a, such a funny name and it has a funny look. It looks like a square that's about to fall. Four equal sides, one, two, three, four. Four sets of, two sets of parallel sides, one, two, I'm sorry, one, two. Two opposite equal acute angles. These two angles are acute, which are small, one, two, and two opposite equal obtuse angles. And these two, an obtuse is a bigger, bigger angle. Excellent. So we have described some flat angles. Let's see what we have next. Now, those, these angles here are two-dimensional angles, flat shapes. These angles are three-dimensional. When we say three-dimensional, that means that you can see all around it. it. And when you were in preschool, you called these fat shapes. They weren't fat, they weren't flat, they are fat, all right? So if you have, and another name for these are solid shapes. You know that now that you're in middle school, they're solid shapes. So the solid shapes are a sphere, which looks like a circle, but a sphere is three-dimensional shape. It's like a ball. No flat faces, no edges, no vertices. Remember the vertices? It has none of those. A cube. A cube has six flat square faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six flat square faces, 12 edges, and 12 and eight vertices. So when two or more faces come together, it forms a vertices. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A rectangular prism. You're familiar with that. You've used building blocks before, haven't you? All right, it has six flat rectangular sides, 12 edges. You know your edges are those. Your edges are here. These are your edges. Okay. Uh, six flat rectangular faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. A cone. You are very familiar with that. A cone has one curved face all the way around, one flat circle face right there on the bottom, one curved edge all the way around, and one vertex. There it is, okay? And a cylinder, a cylinder is like a can, like if a, a, a can of soup. It's like a cylinder, that's a cylinder. Two flat circle faces, this one right here and this one right here. Okay, one curved face, two curved edges, and no vertices. The vertices would come to a point. Okay, and a pyramid. This is, this is uh, not a pyramid. This is the closest thing I can get. I'm using my granddaughter's shapes, and she does not have the type of pyramid I'd like to show you. But this is to show you that it's still three-dimensional. It has four triangular faces, one, two, three, four. One square or rectangular face, look at the bottom. And 
four edges, I'm sorry, eight edges and five vertices. So the one at the top and the four, one, two, three, four. All right, you did a very good job of paying attention to that. I'm very proud of you. But you already know about these shapes, I'm sure. So let's see if we can practice some of the information that we've just learned. It says, look at the objects. Find the object that has a circle shape. Put the matching circle shape over the object. So of these three shapes, this one, this one, and this one, which one has the circle shape? <clears throat> and what do we remember about a circle shape? The circle has how many sides? <clears throat> a circle shape has how many sides? It has no sides. Zero. How many sets of equal sides? Zero. How many sets of parallel edges? Remember, they're across from each other. Edges that are across from each other. A circle has <clears throat> zero. How many angles? How many angles does a circle have? Think about it. It has zero. How many acute angles? None. How many obtuse angles? None. How many right angles? You remember the right angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so let's find the shape that will fit over the circle. Got it right, okay? Here we have this shape and that is the circle. Let's do another one. It says, look at the objects. Find the object that has a triangular shape. Put the matching triangle shape over the object. So what do we know about a triangle? Triangle, how many sides does a triangle have? How many sides? Do you remember? Three. How many equal sides does it have? How many equal sides does a triangle have? This particular shape, if we want to say this is a triangle, how many equal sides does it have? Excellent. How many sets of parallel sides? A parallel side has two be across from each other and they should never meet. They should never meet those sides. How many do we have? Zero, okay. How many angles? How many angles does a triangle have? You think you got it? Three, excellent. How many acute angles? That means an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. And remember, we, we talked about how to make a 90 degree angle before. That's a 90 degree angle. So if we look at our triangle, how many 90 degree angles do we have? How many 90? I'm sorry. How many acute angles? I asked the wrong question, didn't I? How many acute angles do we have? Let's try that again. Sometimes we get it wrong. How many acute angles do we have that are less than 90 degrees? Excellent. How many obtuse angles? Now, an obtuse angle will be wider. Can you see that? Miss Lucas is doing all kinds of crazy things. It's wider than 90 degrees. Let's see. If we look at that triangle. How many are obtuse? What are we going to go with? Let's try zero. How many right angles? And we talked about that right angle. How many have, how many right angles do we see? We had three acute, right? How many right angles do we have? All right, let's see if we can find the shape that will fit over our triangle. Is this it? Excellent. We got that one right. Let's go to the next one. Let's see. We're describing, we're learning how to describe these shapes. 
and we're using angles, vertices, sides, curves, plus the kind of vocabulary we're using to describe the shapes. And we're describing three-dimensional shapes. It says, look at the objects. Find the object that is shaped like a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism. All right. Which one of these objects? Let's see. What, what do we know about? Oh, there's a lot of stuff to know about a rectangular. How many faces will a rectangular prism have? How many faces will it have? Let's try six. Oh, we got it right. Excellent. How many vertices? And that's a little bit different. You know, the vertices are these points here. So if we're talking about the rectangular prism, how many will it have? Let's see. Let's try. Excellent. How many? And I, I need to make this a little bit bigger because I'm telling you, Miss Lucas cannot see these words. Okay. How many edges? Do you remember what edges are? The edges are here. And a rectangular prism, they have a lot of edges. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges. Did I get them all? Let's see. We still didn't get that correct. What did Miss Lucas do wrong? Well, edges, 12 edges. We have to count all the edges. This one right here, those right there, these, these, these. That's where the trick comes in because we have to remember those edges there also. So there are 12 edges. All right, let's see which one of these is the rectangular prism. Let me see if I can. Let's try it. Ms. Lucas is, I have to put things in the right place to get the right answer. How about, <gasps> I'm making it really hard on myself, aren't I? There we have it. Ms. Lucas made all kinds of errors on that one, but it's okay to make a mistake. We learn a lot when we make a mistake. If you make a mistake, erase the mistake and get it right the next time. Excellent. We found the rectangular prism that fits. That's excellent. Excellent. All right. It says, look at the objects. Find the objects that shape like a cube. All right. Let's, what do we know about a cube? How many faces does a cube have? Give me a little cheat sheet over here. It has how many faces? And remember, the face is the flat part. How many faces? Let's go with six. We got that one right. How many vertices does it have? How many vertices does it have? Remember these points that are here, the vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's put eight. Excellent. How many edges does it have? Edges. It's hard to count the edges. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> we would have to color all of these edges to see if we went around. So what you might do is take a marker and just put a mark on each edge. As you go around, that might be an easy way to count them. So I always start with eight just to see what happens. And if we, if we get to eight and we know that we get the wrong answer, then we're able to go back and hit. Well, that's the right answer. Excellent. So let's see if we can put the shape on our cube. And there we have it. Excellent. All right, let's see which shape we have next. 
<clears throat> it says, look at the objects. Find the object that is a circular shape. Now we're doing, these are flat shapes here. Find a circular shape. That's not as hard as the other shapes that we have because what we know about uh, a circular shape, how many sides? How many, uh, how many sets of equal sides? How many sets of parallel sides? Talking about the circle, how many angles on a circle? Excellent, you're doing an excellent job. How many acute angles? The acute angles are small angles, less than 90 degrees. Excellent, how many obtuse? They are the wider angles. Let's see. And how many right angles on a circle? A circle is all curves. Let's see if we can find the circular shape. Excellent, Let's, excellent, the circular shape, excellent. All right, the next one, it says, these again are your flat shapes. We were working with the solid shapes, the fat shapes. Now we're working with the flat shapes. It says, look at the objects, find the object that has a triangular shape. All right, let's see if we can find it. Remember, we, what do we remember about a triangular shape? It has three sides. It has three angles, one, two, three. All right, it has one flat face. All right, are these angles acute or obtuse? Acute or obtuse, they're wider. Ooh. Wider, oh, I'm trying my best. All right, they are acute. They're, they're smaller than 90 degrees. Are there any right angles? No, there are no right angles. Let's see if we can find the shape that fits our triangle. Excellent, that is our triangle shape. All right, and this one, this one is look at the objects, find the objects that is shaped like a rectangular prism. Find the object that is shaped like a rectangular prism. All right, remember what we, rem what we know about the rectangular prism how many faces, how many angles, how many vertices there are. Remember everything that we learned? Excellent. The popcorn machine is the correct answer. Excellent. And let's look at this one, it says, look at the objects, find the objects that is shaped like a cube. And what do we remember about a cube? How many vertices does it have? How many sides does it have? How many faces does it have? Do you remember? Can we find it? Excellent. So in this, the... 3D glasses is the shape of a cube. Wow, we've done a lot today. Let's see, we were working on the, the attributes of our angles. And we learned that our shapes, attributes of our shapes, we learned that our shapes have sides, they have angles, they have parallel sides, they have the those are our flat shapes. And then our vertex, I'm sorry, our 3D shapes, which are our solid shapes, have a vertex, it has faces, and it has edges. Well, you've done an excellent job today. I'm very proud of your work. If, you're, if you have an opportunity to find these shapes at home, I'm sure that you have some building blocks. Or as you're walking around the house, find some shapes and see if you can count the sides. See if you can count the vertex on each one and see if you get the same answers we did. 
You did a wonderful job. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.